energy the basis for our modern life. But the demand is growing worldwide, both at work and at home, for leisure and mobility we are consuming more and more precious energy resources. Renewable energies are still not capable of replacing fossil fuels. Yet coal, oil, and natural gas are only available to a limited extent and are becoming more and more expensive. And when they're burned to generate electricity and heat, the power plants emit carbon dioxide with catastrophic impacts on the climate and the environment. In order to prevent this greenhouse effect, we have to utilize the available raw materials more intelligently and avoid unnecessary waste. During conventional power generation, about 38% of the energy utilized is converted into electricity. The rest is released unused into the air where it's irretrievably lost. Likewise, with the separate generation of heat, with an oil-based central heating system, for instance, yet another new source of energy has to be burnt as fuel. And that certainly is not effective by far. Plants that co-generate heat and power, like the Berlin Mitte gas and steam turbine power plant here, are able to combine these two processes. They extract the heat which is produced during electricity generation and reutilize it as thermal heat or warm water. CHP, as combined heat and power is called, converts the fuel utilized into energy at a rate of up to 90%. This means that in comparison to conventional separate generation of heat and electricity, CHP plants save up to 40% of the primary energy utilized and achieve a significant reduction in CO2 emissions as a result. How we manage to conserve our resources represents one of the greatest challenges of the future. And the time to start using energy efficiently is now. The Bremerhöhe Housing Association in Berlin's Prenzlauer Berg district. Here they use combined heat and power to decentrally supply 455 homes. Three combined heat and power units generate electricity and heat at the same time here and additional heating boilers start operating whenever extra large amounts of heat are required. This is flexible, saves money, and protects the environment. Thanks to the CHP units in the Bremer Höhe, about 450 tons of harmful carbon dioxide no longer get released into the atmosphere each year. The Housing Association saves 110,000 liters of heating oil annually and significant energy costs in turn. The demand for electricity and heat fluctuates depending on the season. So whenever the tenants do not use as much electricity as the CHP units produce, the surplus volumes are fed into the local distribution grid for which they receive a payment. When the reverse occurs, like when one of the units breaks down, for example, this connection to the local grid provides security at all times. CHP is suitable for use with petrol and gas engines, in gas turbines, as well as with innovative drive technologies, such as the Stirling engine, steam turbines, or fuel cells. And while natural gas and oil are the common fuels used to date, renewable energies, such as biogas, for example, can also power combined heat and power units. CHP units are compact and generate electricity and heat very close to the consumers. In this way, energy losses caused by long pipeline systems can be eliminated. And that's not only economical, it's also good for the environment. There are many potential areas of use for combined heat and power units. Not only do they supply electricity and heat, they are also optimally suited for the air conditioning of hospitals, hotels, and office buildings. The Königstadt Terrassen Services and Commercial Complex in the heart of Berlin. Two CHP units supply all the offices and retailers here with electricity, heat, and cold. Not only does the health food supermarket on the ground floor get heat and warm water the whole year round, it also enjoys favorably priced air conditioning in the summer. 
As a rule, the usual air conditioning systems run on power guzzling compression refrigeration machines. That's expensive and increases the CO2 emissions. But not so in Königstadt Terrassen, because there, in addition to the two CHP units, they also have an absorption chiller. And this technology utilizes the heat from the combined heat and power units to produce cold, much to the advantage of both the climate and the environment. But there is yet another advantage. Absorption chillers do not have any movable mechanical components, which makes them practically maintenance-free. And furthermore, thanks to the integrated generation of cold, the service life of the CHP unit increases and its profitability as well. The annual savings in primary energy available by generating locally with a combined heat and power plant amount to approximately 2,500 megawatt hours when compared to a conventional separate supply, which equals about 250,000 liters of heating oil. And the reduction in CO2 amounts to about 700 tons annually. Combined heat and power is the intelligent solution for electricity, warm water, and a pleasant climate. The share that renewable energies account for in the production of electricity and heat is constantly increasing. And in addition to solar, wind, and water power, renewable resources and organic waste are also playing a vital role here because they represent the basis for biogas. This CO2 neutral fuel is manufactured in biogas plants like the one here in Rathenau near Berlin. The gas is produced using maize and grass as well as organic waste and slurry. Microorganisms in a hermetically sealed fermenter first convert the carbohydrates, protein and fat in the raw material into methane and carbon dioxide. The gas gained by this method is then treated chemically and refined into bio-natural gas. Once it is in this form, it can be fed into the existing natural gas pipeline system. One especially wise use of bio-natural gas is in plants with combined heat and power technology. Berlin's fire department shows how this works. With 914 vehicles and over 4,000 employees, Germany's largest professional fire department operates around the clock. And at the local fire department here in North Charlottenburg, the vehicle halls, recreational and utility rooms, as well as the administration building and central control room, all need a reliable supply of energy. The department's heating system, which is directly on its own premises, consists of a CHP unit running on bio-natural gas. It is capable of providing the baseload for heating the buildings on the 21,000 square meter premises all year round. The electricity it produces is completely fed into the public power grid and paid for in accordance with Germany's renewable energy law. Biogas has many advantages. It can be stored, it's easy to transport, and it's ideal for use in decentralized CHP units with a high degree of efficiency. And it's seen as one of our energy sources of the future. Calm and restful, yet still in the city. Schwendiweg in Berlin's Spandau district is typical of the streets built during the city's construction boom in the 1950s with the local residents valuing its location on the city's outskirts and its affordable housing. But let's just go back a few years. This is what Schwendiweg looked like before the Charlottenburg Housing Association ordered extensive modernization measures in 2010. A total of 5.7 million euros was invested in improving the living conditions here and reducing the energy costs. The outside walls and roofs are now insulated against heat loss. The doors and windows have been replaced, and the self-contained gas heating system in each unit has now become obsolete. The energy supply is now provided by a CHP unit. It covers 70% of the annual demand for heat in the six buildings connected to it. 
And when outdoor temperatures are low or at peak consumption times, three additional gas-fired condensing boilers switch on progressively to satisfy the increased demand. In addition to the CHP unit, the Berliner Energy Agency has also installed a photovoltaic system on the roof of the apartment block with 351 solar panels facing the sun and supplying environmentally friendly electricity. Thermal insulation plus photovoltaic plus CHP. This combination of building measures, efficient technology and renewable energy is a pioneering model for the future. The combined use of a CHP system with thermal insulation has reduced the running costs by more than 60%. And the benefits are twofold for the residents. They receive both their heat and electricity at favorable conditions, because both are now supplied directly from the CHP unit installed in their own cellar. Combined heat and power. You can also have it in very small formats, whether for a terraced house, a freestanding villa, or the independent-minded individual consumer. This technology represents an intelligent alternative. This family in the Berlin Lichterfelde district have their very own micro power plant for electricity and heat, and the great feeling of wasting nothing. Whenever they do not need the electricity their system produces, it automatically flows into the public grid for a corresponding payment. And if the family needs more, they can buy additional electricity from outside. Modern micro combined heat and power units are no larger than a washing machine and fit into every basement boiler room. Various different drive systems are also available, from gas-powered petrol motors through to fuel cells or are already under development. At the heart of this system is a so-called Stirling engine. It's especially quiet when in operation and runs on environmentally friendly natural gas. A heat buffer storage device holds the warm water and supplies it as required for washing, showering, or taking a bath. At those high intensity heating times of the year, when it's extremely cold outside, there's even an additional burner that then switches on and provides extra heat. A micro CHP unit can cover up to 100% of the heat requirements and 80% of the electricity consumption in a household, with fewer CO2 emissions for the same comfort. And that just simply feels better. Efficiency always pays off in every respect. Combined heat and power generation is simple, efficient, and can be utilized in so many ways. Already today, combined heat and power plants are guaranteeing an economic and environmentally sustainable supply of energy at the most diverse of locations. There is an individual solution for just about every requirement. In large public buildings, decentralized combined heat and power units can provide the supply of electricity, heat and cold. Likewise, in commercial and industrial operations, CHP plants can make a significant contribution to reducing energy costs. In order to be able to utilize the advantages of combined heat and power, the technical know-how from experts is required. They develop tailor-made solutions for every location and take over the planning of the CHP plant or unit from the very first budget calculation to the smooth operation of the unit. The Berliner Energieagentur Energy Agency is the energy services company in Berlin for the use of modern CHP plants. And here, First of all, they check whether a combined heat and power plant can also be operated profitably. In order for the plant to function at its optimal capacity, the heat requirements in, say, a building must be large enough. Then, so they can complete the profitability calculation, the energy agency assesses consumption data and analyzes the demand structure. When it comes to financing a combined heat and power plant, the Berlin-based energy agency is more than ready to assist. When the owner of a building does not have the necessary funding, the service provider assumes the risks from the planning phase through to the energy plant operation, covering the investments and dealing with the servicing and maintenance. Their aim is always the same, 
clear savings in primary energy, and environmental protection with fewer CO2 emissions. CHP units from the Berliner Energieagentur are reliably producing electricity, heat, and even cold in an environmentally friendly manner and at economic prices. Thank <laughs> you.